What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Showtime player breakdown slash review. So today we've got Haaland, Rodri and Bastoni as our Showtime players, big time players. But only Rodri has a player skill that is a Showtime player skill. So he's got game change and pass. So Haaland has a card that's here and it is a Showtime card, but it does not have the phenomenal finishing uh, player skill. If you go into his card here, you can see that he just has his regular player skills, okay? So we're going to get into that card in a second. Bastoni is in the same boat, but Rodri does have his game change and pass there. So game change and pass to me is probably the least, um, like, you know, visual looking uh, player skill that they've added. I mean, I would definitely... Yeah, I would definitely be out on that one a little bit as of right now, unless they make some gameplay changes to eFootball 2024, which we will have a little bit of news on as well in a future video today. So uh, we're going to start with Haaland, right? Haaland goes to a whopping 99 overall, and that's without his uh, team gameplay proficiency or game plan proficiency, uh, his team play style for proficiency boost, right? So Haaland is going to go to pretty much nearly 100 overall, which, look, I mean, he's a record breaker this this season. Uh, he's had a fantastic year, and he's probably, you know, if not the best striker in the world at the moment with Mbappe, uh, he probably is in the top three, you know? So depending on where you rank him, he is a phenomenal player. He's down as a fox in the box. We've had a lot of different versions of Haaland, but I do like this version of him. It's just that he still has the same issues, right? If you're looking to get Haaland, right, and you're thinking, oh, he's 99 overall, he's going to absolutely dominate for me. He's going to be a monster for me in the, in the box and score lots of goals. He will. He'll score you a ton of goals, right? If you're an average to good player, Haaland is very effective, okay? But is he easy to use? No, he's not. He's a very difficult player to use compared to some other players that are, you know, the game suits Mbappe. It suits Romario. It suits Eto. It suits those type of players that can zip in and zip out of, uh, of challenges and chances, right? Haaland's biggest problem is his balance. You can see there that he's only got 52 balance, which does kind of ruin this card. Now, when you're, when you're playing with Haaland, I would genuinely just be getting the ball at his feet. I wouldn't be running. I wouldn't be dribbling. I wouldn't be doing anything but literally shooting on sight. So if you don't get into areas where you're able to, you know, just finish, just be an absolute deadly finisher in around the box, because he is a fox in the box. His AI is going to naturally drift in there and stay in there, right, compared to a goal poacher um, or a dummy runner or something like that. But Haaland, the minute you get the ball at his feet, you need to be unleashing those uh, those shots, right? Especially in, in the box when you get it. First time shots, headers, uh, balls from crosses in. You need to play a different style with him, right? When we go over to eFootball DB and max him out, and we have a look here at what his stats are, this is the 99 rated version of him. Now, as ever, lads, I always put a little bit of a tweak on this. If you want a dedicated training guide on Haaland, if you're struggling with him or you're just wondering what way to go with him, um, I will probably do a dedicated one on it because there is a lot to discuss with this card. But the biggest thing is, even when you pop 12 into dexterity here, which brings his offensive awareness and his acceleration up 12 points, right? Your offensive awareness is going to go over 90. Your acceleration is going to go over 84. Look at the balance, man. It's still at 64. Now, one thing I would say is off the ball or when the AI are controlling and you're, you know, bodying up people, he does have huge physical contact, which does overcompensate a little bit for the balance, but it's when you have the ball at your feet that you're going to have a big problem with Haaland. If you're used to running and gunning, if you're used to having Romario, if you're used to having Mbappe, if you're used to playing with Son or Salah, or pretty much any striker up front that you can dribble with, Letaro Martinez, any of those guys, right? His dribbling only goes to 79 when we put 8 into it. So I think that this card is, it's kind of hard to boost up, lads. It's kind of hard to train up. Obviously, the shooting, you don't need more than 90 with the finishing. Um, obviously, you are going to, you know, I, I would say even at 88, you have more than enough. But because he's got other stats that are really kind of down, I would probably max that out at maybe 90, maybe 92, depending on how you want to train him up. Passing doesn't really make a difference to this card. But dribbling, you are caught. I mean, even with 80 dribbling, you're still caught with the rest of the stats. 70 type possession just isn't enough at this stage in the game, right? If it was me and I pulled Haaland on my road to glory or anything, I'm probably going to use Haaland as the same way as I use Collar. I'm going to be swinging balls into him and I'm going to be upgrading, um, I'm going to be upgrading everything, but, you know, I'm not going to upgrade his dribbling. I'm going to leave that as is and I'm probably going to upgrade his physical contact, his header and then maybe a little bit of uh, dexterity, a little bit more as well with the offensive awareness. But he's a difficult card. The balance is not going to suit everybody. 
Um, it is kind of a it is kind of a stat that really nerfs this card a little bit. Um, I would like to see his balance a bit higher because look, just because he's a tall player, you remember Berbatov, you remember Ibrahimovic, lads. These players that are really tall have got excellent technique and balance for a big man. So I would like to see a Hallen card for eFootball 2024. Maybe reduced a little bit in other ways, whether that's player skills to balance him out a little bit. But I would like his balance into the maybe the 70s, you know. Um, but that's just me, right? Next up, we do have Rodri, his Manchester City teammate. Obviously, we all remember he scored that goal if you are a City fan. Excellent, uh, excellent player. One touch pass, true pass, and way to pass, and game changer pass. So he's every passing stat you could possibly want with a really good base passing stat as well of 84 for low pass, 81 for lofted. But the real thing about this card that I like, right, compared to other versions of him, okay? Yes, you know, the Spanish version and the other star ver version of him, I can't remember which one it was. There are similar cards to this guy um, on you know, that are released already on the database, right? His standard card uh, is pretty identical to it as well, if you look at it here. So his standard card is 24 levels to go, but he's he's pretty much an identical card apart from the passing. Like, he's minus four ball control passing and lofted pass on his standard card. Everything else is the exact same, except the team play style proficiency. But he's got 30 levels, this guy. So he's got an extra, what, six levels to go? Plus, he has got the 90 team play style, which they are changing it for eFootball 2024. But for now, it is kind of key, right? So to get a 98 version of Rodri, you're going to have to train him up this way. A2, 4, 8, 4, 12. But I wouldn't train him up this high, uh, especially... Uh, especially with the passing and stuff, right? I, I genuinely think you've enough with 88 low pass here, right? If you are swinging balls in a lot or you like to switch play, yes, you can boost that up to 90 with 87 lofted pass, but I'm more than happy to leave that at 88. I will do a training guide on him if you want a passer or a stopper. This is kind of like a halfway between everything. Dribbling, you don't really need. For a DMF, his dribbling, his base stat is more than enough. His acceleration, that's never going to really change too much, and his balance, so I wouldn't even bother with that. I would probably just pop four into that. His lower body, 70 speed, 90 stamina is more than enough, and then it's just all about whether you want him defensively, or you whether you want him to be more of kind of like an enforcer in midfield, right, to get that 88 physical contact. So it depends how you want to train him. Me, personally, I'm probably popping in a lot into defense. That's kind of where I'd go with it. Um, and then be able to get him aggression uh, high. A lot of people rate him very, very highly. I still, you know, swear by Makalele and Vieira, but if you are looking to spin for him, he definitely is a good option to have, right? Um, if you want an anchorman, especially an anchorman that's going to sit in the pocket and just break up people, break up the ball. Last but not least in this, we do have Bastoni as the showtime, okay? Again, Bastoni doesn't have any player skill for the big time or the showtime. He's down as an extra front man as well. I like him, man. He doesn't have blocker from the rip, so you are going to need to give him blocker. That does kind of hinder this card a little bit for a showtime. Sometimes I wonder why they release the showtime the way they do. I mean, for me, the showtime cards should be the best version, the best ever performance of that player. So it should be very unique stats instead of just kind of complementing the already the stats that are already there. Um, and this is kind of a problem that Bastoni faces, right? Because his 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 Italian pack card, his stats standard card, his uh, European or his eFootball Championship Pro card and his team of the week, they're all very similar cards, give or take, you know, one or two stats in each way. Like this guy's got 29 levels, his standard level, his standard card has got 29 levels and it's a far superior card, yes, but the Italian pack, you can kind of pick your poison with it because there's a lot to like about the Italian pack um, that's very similar to this Showtime one. You know, the Showtime card to me should be man of the match performance, like his best his best stats, right? But maybe they will release they will release a team of the year type thing, right? We'll see. Dexterity five, lower body four, aerial strength six, defending fifteen, and then goalkeeper uh, one for two into that to get the jump up. A very strong card. I will do a guide on him as well. But you've got defense into the nineties. You've got speed and acceleration into the mid seventies. Stamina seventy seven, and his passing is quite decent as well as an extra front man. So I do think that it's a fairly okay pack. Um, bit disappointed with Haaland. Rodri's probably the pick of them if you're looking, you know, for a newcomer point of view. If you're looking for somebody that can just slot in and improve your squad straight away, Haaland takes a bit of getting used to, and Bastoni also takes a bit of getting used to. Bastoni is a beast. Don't sleep on him if you get blocker on him as an additional skill. I will be opening my free pack uh, on my road to glory live stream later. We will be doing co-op as well. So hope to guy, hope to see you guys in the chat. 
Training guides will come in all of these as well, so don't worry. You know I bring all the training guides, and uh, we usually go for three a day. So I'll be talking to you later, lads. Hope to see you in the live stream, and if you're not subscribed already, please do. We will be doing a bit of a co-op tourney as well, so more details on the Discord and on the live stream later. Until then, peace.